guys, it is time to eat something. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna make myself some broccoli. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna do some fresh cut broccoli and some gluten-free bread, and I'll show you guys. It's like the equivalent of having avocado toast. Um, I'm gonna saute up some broccoli, and then I'm gonna put it on top of the toasted gluten-free bread, so I'll be right back. mine my broccoli toast loaded with broccoli and here is the hubby he's got um, two slices of this low calorie bread which is 35 calories a slice and some broccoli and then that's mine so I'm gonna go ahead and chow down guys okay hey guys um my I am off today and I am about to eat the rest of these delicious northern beans that my wife made last night is so freaking good that woman can cook she can really really cook she's in the kitchen fixing herself some coffee right now uh, and i'm about to i'm about to chow down on this food so anyway y'all go check out her instagram what's what's the name of it yums, yums to the tom same name as this channel go check it out uh the food is as good as it uh looks and um, talk to you guys later. All right. All right, guys. My sandwich was so good. And now I'm getting ready to have dessert. I'm getting ready to also drink my coffee. So I just um, reheated some. And I'm going to enjoy these leftover cookies that I can't seem to get enough of. And along with the candy um, bits here. I'm going to enjoy these. So anyway, I'm going to heat up my cookies for... Just a few seconds, well, probably about 10 seconds in the microwave to get them a little bit chewy. Let's put them on a microwavable dish first. Okay, here they are. Put them in the microwave for a little bit. Some hazelnut creamer for my coffee. Alright, my cookies with my little tangerine, candy tangerine rather, and um, my coffee. Alright, hey guys, welcome back. I'm in the kitchen and I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking dinner. And um, today I'm gonna be making some potato balls for the first time. I hope they turn out. Um, I'm using the red skin potatoes. I already got them cut and basically cooked up and mashed. And um, I decided to use the skin on the red 
uh, potatoes. I just decided to keep it on because I want it to have more texture. Um, because usually I've been seeing people use the russet potatoes, uh, which is a lot starchier than the red potatoes. And for me, the red potatoes, I just digest better. They do better for me. So we're going to use the red skin. Um, and I wish I had some uh, panko breadcrumbs, but I don't. But I'm going to try this recipe out for the first time using some cornmeal. So I already got some cornmeal um, in a container. Instead of egg, I'm using some Italian dressing, uh, more for the flavor. And, you know, something to just kind of like make the... Um, stuff stick together you know what I'm saying the um, seasonings herbs and all that kind of good stuff in here so I'm gonna try that um, for my inside um, stuffing I'm gonna use some cauliflower that I have cooked up um, um, I have some leftover cauliflower for some days ago and I have some onions and cilantro so I'm gonna go ahead and cook together right now you know what I should have done this early and I totally forgot I should have went ahead and did this, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway, doing it now. So I'm sauteing up um, some onions and cilantro. I wish I would have remembered to do this earlier because I wanted, the whole point of this was to have the potatoes cool down to where I can, you know, form the balls with my hands. And now I'm probably going to have to wait again, which is, you know, going to put me behind because I've got like an hour and a half. I believe until it's time. Oh, I've probably got two hours until I get, um, go and get the girls from school. So here we go. The cauliflower crumbles that I have. I'm going to um, add some more seasonings to it to just kind of like pump it up with a little bit more flavors and all that good stuff. So I have some garlic powder. And I think I got some paprika in here. Let's see, I know I got some chili powder. I don't think I have any more paprika, but we're going to make this work. I have been just excited about making these. And here we go. I got chili powder. I wish I had some paprika, but like I said, we're just going to make it work. Um, so let me go ahead and toss in. There we go. And I just let the cilantro hold. Just gonna saute this up. So get the spatula. It's hot. Yeah. And I'm just gonna saute. And add some oil to this. I'll be right back, guys, once I get all this in the pan. Alright, guys, so in the pan I put my cauliflower crumbles. I'm going to add some uh, chili powder. And this gives it a really good flavor along with coloring. Give it more like a, a meat, brown, ground beef texture, look, and however you know. And we're going to add some Italian herbs. And I already put the cilantro and all the other stuff together. So now we're just going to stir this all up. It's already cooked, already done, and there we go. Okay, turn that off. Okay, guys, so um, my mixture here is all nice and combined. Um, I didn't need to like overcook it because it's already pretty much cooked and it's already well seasoned. Now, all I have to do. Add a little bit of salt to my uh, potatoes and make sure it's well salted. And then I'm going to add also some garlic powder. Make sure it tastes on point. Okay, now let me get some, just kind of stir this all up. Texas 
gonna look like. Um, and plus, like I said, I left the I left the skin on the potatoes because it's just gonna add more flavor, more nutrients, just give everything a lot, a lot more texture. So, you know, one thing I forgot to do was add some flour. Um, let me go ahead and get some flour. I'm not adding flour to the mix, but I'm basically gonna have. Um, Alright, I'm going to be using some all-purpose flour, guys. That's what I have, so I'm going to make it work. Just, we are just using, hold on. This is basically to coat my hands, and so I just put some in the bowl to work with. Like I said, this is my first time making this. Let's try this out. Okay. I wish I had a potato masher. I threw away my potato masher. And I do have a, um, a, a mixer, but a hand, you know, one of those hand blenders. Uh, Alright, we're going to try it this way first. Alright. So what I'm going to do is just roll them up first and put them on baking sheet and then we're going to fry them. saw a couple of different ways that people were doing this so that way um, you can put the mixture inside and one lady um, the, the best way that I saw was where she just punctured like a little hole in the top and then she inserted everything so we're gonna I'm gonna see if that works if that method works so right now this is the size I think I want to go for and let's see what we are going to do should I go ahead and mix everything first yeah okay we gotta form the ball first and then I'm gonna just put my little let's see we're gonna use my finger and just create like a little hole and let me get a spoon use this spoon and we're gonna insert some mixture like that Close it up, press that inside. Close it, close it up. I feel like I want to put more in here, so then we're just gonna roll it, make sure it's all nice and firm. Let's make it perfect by rolling, 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 rolling. Give it a nice little circle. And I'm, right now I'm just going to roll them and then we'll dip them in all that stuff later. So there we go. And let me get us.
tablespoon measure, so we're going to use that to see if that will work better. All right, let's dry the hands off and let's start over. Trying to get them all about the same size. And just puncture right there, and then we're going to add some mixture. I see why people use the um, russet potatoes because they have more starch and they will hold up better. So, but we can still pull it off like this. So. Okay. There we go. And make that perfectly round. balls. It's getting easier. All right, guys, I'm going to continue making these and I'll be back to show you guys um, how many I was able to make out of this. Okay. All right, guys. So let me show you guys how many balls I was able to make. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, these are pretty big size um, potato balls, and we still have lots of mixture left over, so that's just going to be for something else, possibly tacos. Alright, so it's time to go ahead and get this all started. I have my oil heating up, and here we go. Just let me show you guys what I'm going to do. Dipping station. All right, so we got some um, salad dressing, which is the, you know, what is this? Italian dressing, cornmeal, flour. Okay, so first we are going, going to dip this in here. Dip, 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 dip. Roll it around. And this is like I said, like an egg wash type of thing. And then we are going to put the ball in here and just use a spoon. Ooh, these spoons are hot. And let that cool down. So this is what it's looking like right now. Um, the batter, which is a cornmeal batter. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back. Alright, so I got my oil heating up and hopefully these are going to turn out right. So let's get started. Tables. I was able to make six, and we're gonna let's hope for the best. Okay, that's a pretty big size ball. Let's see how hot this one is. Just a little bit more.
starting to cook. I think I should let it heat up just a little bit more before I put the other ones in there. Okay, it's coming along. All right. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and finish cooking these up and I'll be right back. Here they are, the potato balls. This is what they turned out to look like, how they turned out. I think they turned out okay, not exactly like I wanted. But I think next time I'll try using the uh, panko, panko mix. Um, I think I'll have a better batter, but anyway, they look delicious. Yeah, I added some onion and cilantro. Tell you what was going to be on it? No. But right. we've been practicing. Where are we going? Um, over my mom's. Oh, let me call my mom. Because we have to drop off her birthday card. Yep, it's your Mimi's birthday. Yeah, let me call my mom. Quick, quick little reminder. I'm trying to come up with my next thing that I'm going to be making. I'm thinking about making tuna steaks uh, and pairing it with. Uh, what did you say? Doo doo. Hey, but I'm vlogging. And some with quinoa kale kale and quinoa. So I'm making a quinoa and kale salad. This is corn. And baby corn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to marinate the uh, beets for my tuna into the seaweed or some kind of kelp or something like that to give it that fishy Ooh, taste. Some crunchy. Um, and then I'm also thinking about maybe making like a nice. Um, sauce like some kind of Dijon sauce to go on top of the uh, the tuna steaks but I'm thinking about putting once I you know cook up the tuna steaks lightly I'm thinking about putting it in having a crusted um, a nice crusted like a lemony crust of a uh, panko light lightly coated onto the tuna steaks so it's going to be like a gourmet meal, and it's going to be really, really fancy, so pair it with some lemon, like having lemon lemon on the side, some lemon wedges, and you squeeze a little bit on top, so it's going to be delicious. All right, that's it. You have done this cleaning. Um, Where's your sister? An NHS meeting, so she's going to be out in like 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. Say hello hey, to everyone. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, park. Because I'm going to scoot up a little bit. Huh? Oh, okay. How are Hi, you, Mama Jordy? The camera's going to cut off a little bit. Hey, guys. It's me, Kennedy. Hey, don't vlog that close. Child. Hey, put your finger right here. Remember, you covering up the speaker. It's going to be staticky. The, the speaker is right there, so move your finger over a little bit. How is your dad? Wait, dad, did you go to work today? Yeah. No, dad didn't. Oh, that's why dad he took the day off. Hey, nice. guys, say hi. Hello. Um, yeah, Jordan Hello. just got back from school. <laughs> dad said hi. Like, yeah, there's dad. Look, dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dad said hi, and we're just waiting for Jasmine. Because she's you in enjoy a, your lunch, Jordan? Right mm -hmm. now. But yeah, and green beans yeah, or Gucci. So Mom made this lunch and it was so good. Mom, wait, what good. did you make for, for dinner? Did you make I haven't finished. Potato balls? Potato, potato balls. You're not gonna eat them. 
But I made um, some cauliflower crumble stuff. But uh, do we have any tacos? Or? But Did guys, eat those? Did we eat are going to come back when Jasmine comes back from her There's meeting. There's rice. Well, she'll be here in a little like bit, the taco but we'll with them. come back when we are done. But I got to make you some broccoli if you want broccoli and some rice. And you can have the rest of the cauliflower rice. Yeah.